people aren't willing to make a commitment. Well, you can't make a commitment to dogs or cats and they dump them and get rid of them all the time. But how is somebody going to make a commitment to a horse that can live for 30 years? Meet Karen Thurman, a woman who works three jobs, lives on a farm, and did we mention she takes care of 50 horses? He's a good boy. Ranger, good boy. Oh, and by the way, all of those horses are either blind or have been mistreated. You know, when I decided I was going to do rescue, I thought I'd get a couple of skinny horses and feed them and turn them out. I didn't know that I was going to get phone calls about blind horses. Well, word got out fast. This is Wendy. This is Fancy. As you can see, she was mistreated by her owner in Louisiana before being rescued and driven all the way back to Kentucky to be nursed back to health by Karen. Well, it's so wonderful to see you. Yeah, I'm so glad you made this big old giant trip. Oh, oh, pretty girl. Slow, 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 slow. Yeah. Here. This is the newest part of the barn. You know, we've had it in a, in a dirt lot, in a mud lot. He wasn't even feeding it. He wasn't even watering it. And thanks to Wendy Rodriguez finding Fancy and Karen's efforts, this horse is getting a second chance. Horse. Most people would have then called the authorities and the guy would have been arrested and then they would have euthanized the horse. But because she took the horse um, first, then that gave the horse a chance. Karen's mission at Brain Hill is clear. All horses need to be treated in a, in a consistent manner, but these blind horses, more than anything, need to be treated in a consistent manner. Unfortunately, there's only so much Karen can do at Brain Hill. I can't tell you how many people call, and I, and I can't. I mean, I can just take so many. And, and this really, this really tops it off. I really can't take any more.